We're here visiting the injection-molded mansion of one of the coolest cultural icons of the past five decades. Let's see if he's home. Oh, <laughs> hi. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to Ken's dream house. What's a typical day like for Ken? Oh, please, listen, and I mean this sincerely. I'm just like any other toy. I still put my pants on one leg at a time. Groovy, huh? Ken has good jeans, but happen to look great in jeans. <laughs> what advice would you give a toy who's serious about becoming a Ken? Well, if you're really serious, don't be. You're a Ken doll, and being Ken is about having fun. So it must be difficult to be a guy who's a girl's toy. <laughs> that's so, that's, somebody said that? Well, it's well known that most Ken owners are girls. <laughs> okay, look, I'm a guy's toy, okay? I'm kind of a role model, a manly role model. So it doesn't bother you that on your own box, your name is eight times smaller than Barbie's? Next question. How do you respond to people who say you're really nothing more than a glorified Barbie accessory? Okay, that's it. All right, this interview's over. That's totally uncool, man. It was a simple mistake, people! Please, please, I'm begging you, let it go! When the gun gets stuck... A movie? <laughs> Look, our tape was bad enough. <laughs> <laughs>